Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. In this video again I'm just going to go over the top major currency pairs, kind of what's happened and what we can almost expect to happen um, for the week coming. Now I'm not going to go to any heat map or anything kind of strength or weakness kind of stuff today because I'm filming this on Saturday evening um, and I don't think that anything's really been updated um, so I'll update you that as and when in the actual group rather than just on this video today um, so starting with the dollar index again you know we've seen some dollar weakness come into play this week at the key 95 dollar level you know key resistance key support still hanging around down here if we bring in the uh, Fibonacci tool and we go from the swing low to the weekly swing highs currently um, that 382 lines up at pretty much exactly on the $91 level, which can be really crucial um, to this whole setup. You know, um, we still have the idea of the head and shoulders coming into play as well, the long term head and shoulders. So if you look left, shoulder just in there, the head coming all the way down in here, and the right shoulder just ended on that spike. Um, into the $91 level and the neckline sort of in that spike up there so you know looking longer term this is something that we've been looking at for a while now in the dollar index we didn't think it was going to happen um, because we saw this big bullish move into the level um, but again you usually see it happen all the time we talk about this quite often at support and resistance levels where we get a big push into the resistance small candle moves to the downside again big push into the support doge candle move to the upside again we're having the same thing big push into resistance nice reversal candle just in there so i'm expecting a little bit of dollar weakness to come into play now i think we've already seen that anyway towards friday so we head down to the pound us dollar chart again i'm just sticking to the weekly charts for now you can see that we close within this candles range in there nice doji candle as well um if we kind of zoom out a little bit and look for those key areas of support and resistance um you know this area through well, like the 132 especially um is a decent little area um especially if we go down to a lower time frame so i'm going to just jump down to the daily and look left and you can see just through here it's not the the greatest area um, but if we go down a little bit just about there you can see it bounce right off this kind of 31 100 level down here so 3200 is just sitting up there where you kind of see that these highs and everything just in here and um, so this bullish zone still for for the pound is looking good for me um, I think we're going to see some more bullishness to the pound um, even if we come up now into this sort of double um, top neckline just through here um, it is still kind of what I project for the pound in the coming weeks euro um, nothing's changed here it's just the opposite to the dollar index I think again we're getting some kind of head and shoulders play um, potentially happening through here um, again maybe the right shoulder finishing up in that area just through there I think this is this is something that could really uh, you know really happen um, looking to the level as well just through here so you can see we have that resistance over there support support and again closing within that support I do think now this is kind of suggesting that we should see some more upside to euro um, you know we just refine it on the daily chart then it's coming levels just down in here any kind of change in cyclicity is something you know that we should really be aware of you know nice counter trend trend lines potentially um, through these two highs as well so something to really consider here I think we're going to just look for those dollar weakness plays Aussie seems to have taken to the dollar weakness quite well as well you know just be aware that you know we are still in downtrend in scenarios so overall the market is in a downtrend and we want to see some kind of you know either double bottom or some kind of change in trend before really getting on the back of those moves if not just look for the counter trend plays into previous structures so previous structure lows just through here 
is ideal, um, especially for Aussie, just through that 7500 level there. You know, something realistically that can be tested. So any kind of um, four hour pullbacks, um, you know, I'd look to target that 7500. It's a level that the Australian dollar um, comes into a lot. Um, and I would be expecting um, the Aussie dollar to come and retest this 75. We've got the 20 moving average running through there as well. Kiwi, again, double bottom scenario here. Uh, the neckline's going to come in all the way up here. I do think that you can look for some intraday um, long positions. Not as strong um, as the Australian dollar, but still kind of um, follow each other. And we still got this you know, overall downtrend anyway. So just be aware that you are trading phase twos. Um, so use appropriate ri appropriate risk and you know management on that. So dollar card, you know, this has been pretty perfect. What we've been calling, um, you know, that one thirty three area just through there. Um, you know, good level up here, which is what I've been talking about for a while now. Um, after we saw a break of these highs in here, um, I think dollar card could, you know, with that such a, a nice bearish engulfing candle I'd look for any kind of pullbacks and trades down to this with the 131 area now CAD is definitely weak but um, you know it, we, it's been battered for a while now and we could just be seeing that phase 2 come into play through there let you go back up to the weeklies as well so dollar swiss weekly um, potentially a lower high in here so if we see a break of this low we could look for an overall weekly downtrend so very similar to what happened over here if we see a break of that then you can look for those shorting opportunities plenty of pips to the downside um, as well you know we bounced off this nice resistance area through here are we going to see that continuation down dollar yen the final one um, again we're kind of sitting in this area um, if we just go from the highs just through there you know, price could look to bounce up into this area, but it looks kind of double topping at that crucial 111, um, you know, level just through here, 110, 111. Um, so again, are we going to see that momentum follow through? If we see that dollar weakness, we, we do tend to see a um, move in dollar yen. Um, so, you know, are we going to see something very similar to what happened over here? Uh, down to there again um, this will affect our yen pairs as well so make sure that you're aware that you're going to be trading them maybe a little bit of yen strength um, as we develop for the next week or so okay so hope you enjoyed that video guys sorry it's a short one um, sorry it's on a Saturday evening but um, I'm going to watch England tomorrow so I don't know um, how long I'll be around for so um, in the day anyway so hope England win anyway I hope you all have all had a great weekend so far I hope um, you know tomorrow will be a good day as well and uh, I'll catch you guys later